Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. So, for this video, of course I'm going to be sp speaking about spooky stuff, something crazy, something wild of course. And it's the month of October anyway, so I mean just as well I reckon. So here we are I suppose. So for the entire month, nothing but Halloween stuff. Yes, sorry, nothing but Halloween stuff. Oh, definitely. So I'm going to talk about some obscure stuff as usual, as I tend to do. The Cyclops. It's uh, one of these oldie horror films. Of course, it's cheaply made and whatnot. A blast from the past. Again. So anyway, I tend to like these anyway, so whatever, I suppose. Anyway, as always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So here we go. So as you might expect, it's going to involve a Cyclops type of giant monster type of a thing. So with this, there was this scientist individual that helps this woman to find her fiance who disappeared some time ago just about three years ago on this exposition in the heart of Mexico for some reason where the radiation has made him these made creatures keen size so you ask me one of those kinds of stories where the radiation just have this kind of effect on it. I mean, granted, at the time when, they, when people made this move, these types of movies, it, it, they didn't know the full effect on relations, sure, but maybe to some extent they did, I suppose. Whatever. Even unless the, that was the case, even if they did know the full extent of relation, I guess you can say they use it as an excuse to, oh, it would just make everything giant size. It would just mutate everything and whatnot. It seems to be like a common plot line for these kind of type of st features. Everything just turns into, into giant because red Asian, and that's it. And they don't go into much detail with that, of course, and I reckon. I mean, of course, that, that never happens in real life, but it's, it's a horror movie, so whatever. You have to explain away how and why all these things happen, anyway, some kind of method, I suppose, so there you go. And yeah, the whole one night thing, that, that's definitely in the movie, of course, obviously. But anyway, that's pretty much the the idea of the movie, of course, when it comes to this kind of thing. Where there, there was this test pilot named Bruce. He's gone missing for quite some time. And his girlfriend, put him as organized this search party, which is sent to the jungles of Mexico. Yeah, this scientist individual. He's supposed to be this, there's also supposed to be this mining expert as well. And it comes along. And yeah, while searching the area, however, they, they uncover this mutated earth animals and whatnot so yeah so kind of strange happenings throughout the entire film I, I guess yourself obviously folks but it's what you expect of course that's going to happen here obviously it's, when it comes to these kinds of movies it's going to be weird and whatnot so yeah they just have to go to the forbidden territories in central Mexico to find her missing fiance who disappeared some time earlier. And after, I guess, landing, a forced landing leaves the these individuals who, in this remote valley. The group soon discover the land is filled with these, uh, this kind of strange crazy and whatnot. Yeah, it gets pretty weird as you might expect, of course. Yeah, but like I was saying, that's pretty much the just the movie, really. That's pretty much the of course, crazy stuff uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff and whatnot. That's pretty much what you might expect, I guess. But I would definitely admit, when it comes to these types of movies, there's a certain charm to them, of course. I would definitely admit, there's a certain charm when it comes to these types of movies. And I do think that this one wasn't too bad. I, I like this one. I like this one uh, quite a bit. I thought it was kind of came off like a, a, an adventure movie in some ways. To some extent, it kind of feels like an adventure movie, I suppose, and whatnot, like, like, like that. But anyway, I don't, I don't mind it really. With the big old creatures and whatnot, that, these, these creatures causing havoc. It's gonna be just madness throughout the entire thing, and it's gonna be just craziness. But anyway, ultimately, folks, this was definitely uh, a thing I, I can say. I, I recommend it, I suppose. And if this stuff seems to be up your alley, I definitely recommend it. It's just, it's wild. I mean, I, they don't, these types of movies are just something you might, uh, might expect from way back when. They don't make these like, like like it was before, obviously. 
I'm guessing in some ways it's because of the audiences, I suppose. Yeah, I don't expect the this kind of thing to really entertain a lot of people in this day and age. Because what worked back then may not work now, I suppose. So I guess that's something. I guess. And maybe it's, it's for the better, I suppose. Maybe you can, you can appreciate movies more because of that, of course. So I do like the makeup, though. The makeup for this was, it was quite... Solid, I reckon. Of course, even though it's something that on a shoestring budget, I suppose. And I guess uh, they just had to make do with what they had, is what I'm saying. They had to make do with what they had, of course. And that's fine, I guess. Like, nothing wrong with that, I suppose. The, the cast members, the actors and actresses and whatnot, they actually did a pretty good job during, during the entire thing. They actually did a pretty good job the entire movie. I put it sort of cast, so what do you know? There you go, I guess. I put it sort of, it's a sort of cast throughout an entire film. Yes, even if the production values isn't exactly not too high. But anyway, I thought the premise was pretty decent, I suppose. I'll give it that. And and that's the thing, though. You do, you do have to keep in mind when it was made. Of course, it's not going to have the most fancy special effects. Of course, I don't have the most, I guess, advanced effects and whatnot. But it was worse. I thought the effects were fine. I reckon, I guess, the, the effects were just fine the way they were, considering the time period. Considering the, the way, the constraints they had at the time, the limitations, I suppose. So there's that, I reckon. Anyway, all in all, I'll put a solid movie, I guess. It's a pretty solid film throughout. The family is pretty. The, your pacing wasn't too shabby, at least as far as I'm concerned. I wasn't bored or anything. And yes, like I said, I was saying, there's a certain charm when it comes to these types of movies. Of course, I would definitely say that. And it's just that I'm not going to ex really expect these movies to be made like this in this day and age. I mean, in some ways, it's kind of unfortunate because a lot of the more modern stuff I, I tend not to like, really, for the most part. There are some exceptions to that rule, of course. I'm just saying. Anyway... I guess let me just wrap this up here. So all I can really say is that it's it's out on Blu-ray. It's on our DVD. It's also it's also out on some of the streaming services like Toby. If you watch it there, so you got some options. But this movie isn't not really too hard to come by, really. If you if anybody is interested in watching it, I suppose. So anyway, I'm just throwing it out there. That's all, just throwing that out there, really. Anyway, yeah, it's gonna be pretty bizarre, but that's fine i suppose and yes this this used to air on tv way back in the day i remember that it used to air you know, back in the day of course so okay i guess that's all i can really say about this movie really because I, I guess you can say it's just definitely uh it's weird it's really weird in a lot of ways of course and just the way i like it of course make it bizarre anyway all i'm gonna really say is i'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.0, I think it's a 7.010 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Later. Yeah.